Back on Sports 225 later on in the show, some prep hoops, and then we'll talk prep recruiting with Shea Dixon of 24-7. But Kenny Henderson, the executive director of the LHSAA, is still with me. We spent the last segment talking mostly about the public-private split in football, and um, the only correct answer to that is, boom, that's in or there. Uh, this past Saturday at Oklahoma State, a kid named Marcus Smart had a confrontation with a fan, and he shoved him. Mm-hmm. And it became the major topic of conversation in athletics the whole week. And those are the kind of things that keep you awake at night if you're a coach, an athletic director, a principal, and I'll bet the executive director of the LHSAA. Yeah, um, sportsmanship or the lack thereof is a is a major concern. And you know whether you whether you want to say that it started in the pros and came down to the Pee Wees, or whether it started in the Pee Wees and went up to the pros, we're ca- caught right in the middle of it. And we definitely get our share of sportsmanship issues. Um, you know, we try to make it a point of emphasis. Um, every time that I'm in front of a group talking to coaches and to principals, uh, you know, I try to encourage our coaches to take the lead on this because I see the coaches as the, the, the problem solvers. Because typically when you look at coaches, the fans take their direction from the coaches. You know, if, if the fans and the students, they, they see what the coaches are doing and, and they maybe act accordingly. Uh, the principal and the athletic directors can only do so much. Uh, you know, it's it's the man in the arena that has control of that. So, yeah. Have you had specific incidences that I, I maybe not even know about because there's so many schools that where where you've had perhaps an athlete fan or an athlete athlete problem? You know, yeah. It, it, I mean, it's 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 a weekly basis. You really. Know, on a weekly basis, we had one where a, a principal uh, principal emailed us and said. Uh, you know, we had uh, two girls in basketball that got into a fight, and um, you know, in this particular gym, the the fans are separated. Uh, it's a it's a, a floors uh, completely separated from the fans, but yet a, a brother and a mother got over the stands and came down on the court. They they got it taken care of, uh, and they handled it properly. It's uh, it's how you handle the situation. Uh, you know, when when we get situations where neither school wants to claim responsibility, that's when we have to get involved. And so, but, uh, you know, we, we try to do what's best. We try to promote sportsmanship. Um, when you're talking about um, education-based athletics, sportsmanship should be very high on that list. You, you would hope. <laughs> <laughs> you would hope. And, of course, on the, you know, on a high school level, like in the case of Marcus Smart, Oklahoma State, he's a great player, one of the best players in the country on a top-ranked team that is on television and scrutinized every day on ESPN with highlights of the kid. And I imagine the pressures on him are enormous when you come down to the high school level, hopefully it's a little bit much, a little bit less, but you have so many kids who play high school sports and especially basketball in Louisiana where they're under a microscope as well. And I imagine there's a lot of pressure. There he is. And that, that I think that goes back to the, to the point that we made that sometimes high school athletics, athletics in general has, has lost some of its direction um, as, to, as to the importance and how much emphasis we put on it. Uh, back when you and I played high school ball, uh, we played from season to season. Yeah. You know, you, you played one sport. It's the day you lost your last game in that sport, you started another sport. And, and that's not the way that we play the game now. I mean, uh, society has told us that we play year-round sports. And so we have kids that are, you know, mom and dad have decided that they're going to be a baseball star and they put them in a uniform at five years old and that's all that they play. Uh, and there's actually studies that are going on where these, these students that have played baseball or volleyball or any sport for... 15 years straight, it's, it's no different than a job. And, and when finally somebody tells them that they're not good enough to play, they go into depression. Mm-hmm. And there's actual studies that are going on about this. And so uh, that, that's a little bit uh, unnerving in, oh. in all of this. Well, it's a tough transition from, from any level, from junior high to high school, from high school to college, and college and on. And, and, and so many people out there don't realize that how, how drastically the percentages Mm-hmm. Drop, and that goes back to what you, when, when we, the first sentence out of your mouth was about priorities. So this show appears on Cox Four in Baton Rouge and surrounding areas, and, and then also on CST, which is regional. I mean, we're all over. And, and one of the big things of Cox Four is to tell, and, and CST is televising high school football. That, that evidently that's got to be a double-edged sword for you. It's a wonderful thing, but it's a bad thing. Yeah, I don't mean bad, but but you know, it comes with its baggage. You do have to be careful. I mean, uh, you know, we. We're, we're part 
you know, uh, who, what, what's the comic strip where it says we've met the enemy and he is us? Or, Pogo. Po, you yeah, know. there you go. And, and sometimes There's I, a bunch of you out there going, who? <laughs> Look them up. Pogo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, that's sort of where we are because we try to put our championships on a pedestal. Mm -hmm. And we have them in the, the finest arenas with the Superdome and, and, and different places that we have the events. Uh, we try to get television involved to get exposure. But at the same time, we are part of that that problem that's building this whole perception of the importance of athletics and what's going on. Um, in this same realm, if you will, you've had a couple of incidents the last few years involving police and in your participants, whether it's coaches, whatever, of course, the well-documented thing with the, the, crew, the, the, the chain crew and the referee crew in Covington yeah. and one of your coaches got arrested before a game up in Shreveport, you know, and on and on. Talk about keeping you awake at night, right? Yeah, uh, we, we, we pretty much have to get involved with those. Uh, we, have, we will have sportsmanship hearings if we, if we have to, and um, typically nothing good comes out of a sportsmanship hearing uh, because we have to get down to, the, to find out the who, what, when, and where of everything, and then there has to be decisions that are made. And, uh, and so, yeah, we've, we've had to deal with those things, and you do cringe when you're, you know, you're at home and out in the yard working on a Saturday <laughs> afternoon and all of a sudden the phone rings and then you start getting this, you know, these stories as to what's going on. So uh, you never know. You've been real transparent. One of the new policies a couple of years ago was to announce penalties. And uh, you know, sometimes I see them and I have to laugh because the emails come and some little high school in the middle of nowhere did something. And I was thinking, I'm like, what are they thinking of? But uh, has that helped? Uh, it, it may be, yeah. We, tr we try to make sure. We, we give the schools 24 hours if they want to get the story out as to what happened. Mm -hmm. And if not, we tell them, look, uh, we owe it to the press to get this out so they can, they can, they can write about it. I always get amused whenever I read the, the headlines. It's the LHSAA, you know, uh, penalizes or punishes. And, and I, I still, yeah, I, and I guess that is the truth in, in the matter. But, again, they have to realize that the principles that we had to penalize made the rules that we're that we're enforcing and more often than not turn themselves in they do yeah. they do they do a very good job I and mean, we're a self-policing self-governing organization and if if uh, if everybody took it as seriously as most of our people do then it would make things a lot better got a couple more things for you we'll sit, get you after the break and then, then we'll get you out of here Kenny Henderson is the executive director of the LHSAA. Later on in the show, we're talking preps with, pre with uh, Jordy and Hunt, and then uh, Shay Dixon from 24-7 will be here to wrap up recruiting season. I'm Lee Feinswag at Sports 225.